Boulder, Colorado, one of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of buffaloes roaming here. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Utah Utes, taking on the 23rd ranked team in the land, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Buffaloes will put total leather to crank us up. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Utah Utes offense takes the field to start this game off. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. And the entire playbook is wide open on second and short like this. Gonna run it. It's Bernard. The Utes get the first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. They'll give it to him again. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And if I'm the running back, I'm going to listen. Oh, uh, can you give me something? Can you give me some space to try to make somebody miss and not have another guy right next to me? I I'm giving the offensive line an earful. I need some holes, need some space up front. They've got to do a better job. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Give to the running back. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. It seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. When you talk about the next game on the schedule, they're always looking forward to this one. Safe completion on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. Off play action on first down. And the quarterback is snowed under. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. After the big first down sack, it's second down. They go to the ground. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple of carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. The seventh play of this opening drive will be a third and long. Wilson to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Fires into traffic and intercepted. Didn't get a ton on the return, but the most important thing, he got the ball, and they've got it at the 48. All right, good news, the game just got started. There's still a lot of football left to play. The bad news is, though, you've already now turned it over and handed the defense an interception. Quarterback's going to have to be more dialed in with his decision-making in this game.
A first down for the offense. Power football with the run. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. And the Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And I think a lot of times when offenses run these counters, you're going to fake one way, right? Pull guys the other direction. If you can get some penetration really quickly, get behind those pullers, you got a chance to get in the backfield just like right there and create a TFL. Let's see what they do here on third and short from the 41. Fires to the big fella. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short just not able to shake enough defenders and comes up a little bit short. And I think a lot of times on third down, Reese, you bet on your guy. When you're an offensive guy, you say, okay, he's going to break a tackle. He's going to get north and south and somehow get the first down. Nice tackling by the defense, understanding where they had to get to and forcing the fourth down. They call it a coffin quarter kick for a reason, and you really can't do it any better than that. He puts that thing out of bounds right around the goal line. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. And I think he got back to the two-yard line, but the defense was ready for the run. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Just feeds the running back. Gives him a little breathing room, picks up five, and gets it to the seven-yard line. Just a simple power play, power football. Be strong, be big, be physical. Make it a fourth-quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Wilson will throw. Coming after him. And this is going to be incomplete on third. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. And the Utes line up to punt it away. He gets it away from his own end zone. Now a fair catch is called for him, made just shy of midfield. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Let's see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 48. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. Fires to the tight end. I'll say this, man, in college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tack. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Makes the grab on third. And he was knocked down immediately short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. They were really hopeful he could make a guy or two miss and pick up the first down, but he comes up a little short. Yeah, and it's great defense. It's defense understanding where the sticks are, not missing tackles, getting the guy on the ground quickly. Really nice job by the defense understanding the situation. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. 
The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. This offense has a second down play. Wilson to pass. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. The Utes will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Got three on first down at second and seven. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I'll tell you, you do not see a lot of big men with the ability to run like that defensive end did right there. The offense trying to trick him, trying to get the quarterback to the perimeter of the field, but just... Big man chasing down little man and getting to him quickly. That was impressive. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. And the Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Out of the gun to give to the back. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Finds a tight end. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Utes will try to pin them back with the punt. Running it back. It's Horn. Found a little running room on that one. Picked up some nice blocks before he's run out of bounds. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. At the 45, on his way! 
They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. They'll go to the counter. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, when you're running counter, those offensive linemen crashing down, they've got to be able to pin those interior D linemen. They couldn't get it done there. They gave up too much penetration, and that led to the tackle for loss. A third and long coming up here. Back to pass, it's Sanders. He lost it high and deep down the left side. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Running back searching for a hole. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Fast motion from the offense. They'll run it from the gun. Mark it off as a six-yard gain down to the six-yard line. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it! And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. Well, they caught the defense off guard with that play right there. Here they are in field goal range, just third and short. You know, the odds say it's going to be a run. Instead, they throw it. They get a big play now setting up first and goal. The Buffaloes will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They'll try to pass their way in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, and you see the sense of urgency now going up, right, David, on defense here, creating a negative play with their backs up against the wall. Everybody's selling out to stop the run. Nice job being aggressive by this defense. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Trying to punch it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Bucks! Follow the blocker. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. A 67-yard touchdown drive there. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Utah has it back, and the offense coming onto the field. 
Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there. you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Wilson will throw. Quickly out to the tight end. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Yeah, because it freezes those linebackers. It freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second and play the run. And then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big plays. They'll put the tight end in motion. They'll go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Grab behind the line. It's Parks. They stop him just a link or two short of the first. And man, what they can do on second down here. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. He's looking for an open man on second down. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. For an offense, slant routes against man coverage are really a rhythm throw. You take your steps, you get the ball out, it's got to be in a good location. Quarterback and receiver on the same page there. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. He's going to pass. And that pass is intercepted. Trying to take it back. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. And an empty backfield here on second and short. Catch in the middle, it's Miller. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. And I love working the slot receivers, and you see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. They're trying to get to it. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Couldn't connect on that last play. Now second and ten from the 42. They keep attacking through the air. Grabs it in the middle. 
And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Oh, uh, you know, that's one as a quarterback. You've thrown the completion, and you're like, dude, can you just turn around and make one guy miss and go get the first? Or can you just stretch out and get the first down? You need your guys to have a little bit more awareness where they are in the field on that play. And even though they got the completion, it's not enough to pick up the first. And now you're staring fourth down right in the face. This late in the half, here's the question. How aggressive will the play calling be? Takes a handoff. It's Bernard. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Wilson to pass. They're bringing heat. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Dialing up a second down pass play. Finds his tight end. They get him at the 42, but he picked up 10 there. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Under heavy pressure, lets it fly. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the second half. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Back to pass, it's Sanders. A little screen to the running back. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. Now, how about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. That's caught. It's Hunter. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. The gift to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. 
I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Yeah, and sometimes the coverage is just great. And as a quarterback, you throw the football away or don't try to force it too tight into a window. And you just say, hey, defense won that rep. Good coverage. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. That's caught. It's Horn. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. He's got his man. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Now on second down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Makes the grab. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, the offense trying to catch him off guard a little bit, running that draw play, but the defense wasn't fooled. Everybody stayed in their lane, and they're able to get the tackle for loss. Now facing some adversity on this drive after the loss of four. It's second and 14. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. Looking for a man, it's Sanders. The throw to the outside is complete. The Utes, third down defense, just not getting it done. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. From the gun, looking for a man. Let's it fly. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back breaking on the football, making the INT, making the D.C. look very smart. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. 
And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Grab behind the line. It's King. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve, and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football, because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action, and you feed the big fella. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. They feed him again. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for him. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. As a defensive guy now, you're always zoomed in on the quarterback. I mean, these guys, they're, whether they're throwing the football or running it, at least they have the football in their hands every time. You know where they're going to be. You focus in. The defense locked and loaded, understand what they were trying to accomplish, doing a good job getting to the quarterback, and then make those physical hits count. Finish those, finish those tackles with aggressive hits. Make that quarterback feel you for a whole length of a game. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. And that, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense, or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Now second and ten. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Punches ahead, they'll give him a yard to the 13. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage, they create separation, they wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Unloads it left. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Buffaloes will punt it away on fourth down. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Looking for the edge on the jet sweep. There to make the stop and we played three in this one. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. 
Going up top on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. They just find ways to find the big fellas. Those big tight ends are huge targets for the quarterbacks. The throws are usually in between the numbers. That makes it pretty easy. Usually sure-handed guys like that that just come across the field make plays for them. They'll line up for a second down play. Wilson will throw. He makes the connection. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that. And then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. And the Utes are on the move. They move the tight end all over. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got it. They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. And that's why the bullet pass is so important. Sometimes these defenses, they don't give you big windows to throw into, and you want to take that chance, but you cannot lob that football down the field and get it in there. Nice use of the bullet pass, my friend. Trying to bully their way in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And his defense has brought their A game. Done a great job stopping the run, stopping the pass, not giving up a lot of points. Even right there, everything's difficult. They string it out towards the sidelines. Everybody's flying to the football. This defense has looked spectacular today. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Movement here from the tight end. Quarterback on the keeper. Driving for the goal line. Loose football. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. And how about the defense coming through in the clutch? You're up. You want to maintain that lead. You've given up a bunch of yardage. What do you do? You bow your neck, create the turnover, get the ball back to the offense. Offense, go do your job. We're going to win this football game. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. To the ground with the back. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Fires to the middle. Find space on the right. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. And the Buffaloes have it with a first and 10. Use the play fake now to throw. Wide open downfield. He's off to the races. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. And this offense not only has a chance to extend the lead, but they can also drain that clock. Running back goes in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. Leaves it with the back. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. 
Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Now on the move. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Colorado! Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. That's reeled in. It's Bernard. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Wilson to pass. It's caught. Running toward the tape. Pass the 20. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Utes. Well, how about that? And after that touchdown, we might have a finish after all, Jesse. I love it, Reese. And this team is not quitting. Yeah, they're down on the scoreboard right now, but they are clawing and they are scratching their way back in this game. They're going to keep going hard until this clock reads all zeros. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Just about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Trying to get to him, and to get rid of it quickly. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls incomplete. They'll run play action. Pressure coming. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football. And now they face third down. Yeah, and it fell incomplete because you did a great job of getting to the quarterback. He's in the pocket. Yeah, he's, he's comfortable, but you get in there and you get a hit on him. Now he feels it. Can't throw the football. Can't follow through with his arm motion. Nice job by the defense. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. <sighs> Sticking with the running game and finding enough space to get eight, it leaves them with a fourth and two. The Buffaloes will bring the punt team onto the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. 
This drive will get underway from just inside the 35 at their own 34. Quickly complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And it was the defense that got this started, right? They were the ones who got the stop, forced a punt, gave it back to the offense, who now just picked up a nice completion. You win as a team, but give the defense credit for getting this thing going. Quarterback stands alone, all wide receivers. Wilson will throw. Quick strike complete. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage, and as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. Now they'll try to cash in this drive, first and 10 from the 50. He wants to throw. The sure hands, it's part. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. They'll throw it on first down. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Most important part of a clutch drive, piece together some first downs, get in position, and here they are on first and ten. On the option, runs through the tackle. Relying on that running game as they threaten a pickup of four down to the 13. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. They'll try the run. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Defense! 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 Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Wilson to pass. Throws to the wideout. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. I know they've got all their timeouts left, but it feels like this is the ball game right here. Fourth down, the quarterback's got to do something special, knowing that they need a touchdown here to win. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. Let's it go to the end zone. Touchdown, Utah! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Great job with the score. And listen, right here at this point in the game, there's still going to be time left. My defense is going to have to make a stand regardless. I'm going to kick the extra point because the field goal still beats me if I go for a two-point conversion. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. There's enough time to get the ball down the field here, David, but you've got to make sure you're efficient and avoid mistakes. Yeah, and those two-minute drills, you always talk about the first first down, Jesse. Get that first first down, stop the clock, get some momentum going on offense. Yeah, and good decision-making by the quarterback, too, right? You don't have to be greedy in this situation. Just take what the defense gives you and get yourself in position to win. To the air, it's Sanders. Escapes trouble, feeling some heat. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. 
give that guy a lot of credit, man. He was able to somehow avoid that sack, but nobody opened downfield, throws it away. Back to work on second and 10 from the 41 after that last incompletion. He's looking to throw. He looks that one in nicely. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. I got to tell you, I love the thought on offense. You want to get one of the fastest players in the country, the ball in space, see if he can break one, make you a big play in a two-minute situation. That's just a better job tackling by the defense. They practice that all week, and it shows up big here late. Looking to throw on third. Fires deep toward the end zone. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And in the final moment, they've taken the lead. And how about this offense, man? They knew they needed to execute. Great play calling, great drive, put it together. Now you got a chance to go up by seven late in this ball game, and then let your defense go on the field and seal it for you. They'll try to tack one more on their score. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cover the final 54 yards with the explosive play in the passing game for six. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. Unloads to the wideout. Got it in the middle, it's parts. Timeout is called by the offense. 16 seconds left in the game. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Keithy. The offense gets the timeout. 12 ticks left on the clock. They flexed out that tight end a little bit, and you know the tight end's always open. Always open. Quarterback's best friend. And this guy's a problem, Reese. He's a matchup problem because he's too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. He's showing you his athleticism there. Timeout is called, and the clock is down to eight. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They've pieced together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. As a defense, the important thing to understand about this situation is I know where they got to get to. They got to get to the end zone. I can drop back, play everything a little bit deeper, make them throw that ball underneath come rally and tackle so I got them in a very predictable situation Wilson will throw fires toward the end zone last chance and he's got it he's got it for the touchdown and they can send it to overtime with the kick or do they dare try to win it here man you did the hard part what a drive putting points together getting six now what are you going to do? Decision time. Do you want to go for the win right now? Go for the two-point conversion? Or kick this thing and go into overtime with seconds running down on the clock? And they add the extra point to finish the drive. The Utes will line it up on first and ten. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. This drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. Off play action. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Here close 
enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. They'll try to strike first with a field goal in overtime. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they go back on top. Down by a field goal and a touchdown will win it. Let's see what they've got on first down. Looking to pass, it's Sanders. Right down the middle. Got him downfield. He's in! A game-winning touchdown in overtime! And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch.